TWO NEBRASKA STATE EMPLOYEES ARE SUSPENDED. A NEW INVESTIGATION WILL DETERMINE IF THERE WAS CRIMINAL WRONGDOING INSIDE THE STATE DEPARTMENT OF CORRECTIONS. NEBRASKA'S GOVERNOR CALLS ON THE STATE PATROL TO DETERMINE WHY PRISON SENTENCES WERE MISCALCULATED FOR MORE THAN 700 INMATES AND WHY SUPREME COURT OPINIONS OUTLINING THE SENTENCING FORMULA WERE IGNORED. IN A STERN MEMO TO ALL CORRECTIONS EMPLOYEES, THE GOVERNOR MAKES IT CLEAR NO ONE IS ABOVE THE LAW. Big story coverage live with KETV News Watch 7's Adrian Whitbent. And Brandy, we don't know the names of the two suspended state employees yet, but that will likely change soon. Governor Dave Heineman says public trust must be restored. Those responsible for these errors will be held accountable. Strong and firm, Governor Heineman lays it out plain and simple. I want every corrections department employee to understand that no one is above the law. The governor and Nebraska Attorney General John Bruning launch a criminal investigation into the early release of hundreds of state inmates. The public has the right to know every detail uncovered in this investigation. Heineman and Bruning promise transparency. All the facts are going to be out there, every possible fact. Who did what, when, who knew what, when. It's all going to be on the table. We're going to explore every avenue to determine was there uh, criminal wrongdoing here. It could be days before a separate personnel investigation is complete. But when it is, Heineman says you will know. In spite of all the recommendations I'm going to get from everybody not to make that public, that report's going to be made public. Both Bruning and Heineman say the early release of inmates, some of them violent, broke your trust with the state. They want it back and know it will come with correcting corrections. The governor and I are trying to clean up a mess. I don't suspect any statutes have been violated. I don't want to prejudge it. We simply want to get all the facts out there. While well, seeking to hold those accountable, Governor Heineman is taking responsibility for the problem, and he reminded State Corrections Department employees of that in a memo today. The governor told them if you are asked or told by someone in your chain of command to ignore or not follow a court order, you should contact Director Mike Kenny and the governor. And Heineman says he wants that information within minutes. Brandy? That report, that's the personnel investigation, right? Yeah, that is. And in his promise of transparency, Heineman promises to order the public release of the findings from that independent investigation. He says that's something usually kept confidential, but he says it is important for the public to know who has been disciplined, how, and why. Adrian Whitsett, thank you. Well, we will be tracking this story in the days to come. The results of the criminal investigation will go to the Attorney General and the Lancaster County Attorney for review and possible prosecution. There is no word yet as to when that may happen. Nebraska Democrats say the State Patrol investigation is not enough. The party calls for a special prosecutor to investigate not only the Department of Corrections, but the Governor and the Attorney General's office as well. Omaha State Senator Heath Mello wants the legislature to investigate. He says who gets the facts and conducts the corrections investigation matters in rebuilding the public trust. No independent investigation, no trust.